Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Evo94 here with another action figure review. This time's going to be on the Sci Fi Rebel Tech Iron Man Mark 21 action figure. Uh, this guy, I wasn't intending to buy this at first, but I am a huge Iron Man fan and I want to build my Hall of Armor. So I was going to get him eventually, and I got him for a good price. He was pretty cheap. So I say, why not? And this, it looks pretty cool. It's pretty much the Mark 7 armor, just all gold. It looks like kind of like got a little bit of bronze in there. But this is Rebel Tech. Um, I don't really buy from them that much. Uh, I bought Mark 1 and Mark 2 from Rebel Tech, and that's about it. There's the side, and there is the back of the figure. Um, Mark 2 actually came with a light-up feature and an alternate Tony Stark head, and I wish they still did that, but they don't do that no more. But anyways, let's crack this guy open and see what we got. Alright, and there is Iron Man Mark 21 out of the package. Uh, very nice. First impressions. Now, it was a bit of a hassle to finally get into this point because this guy is literally packed in there with like half of the entire figure is filled with plastic like I'm telling this crap plastic it's all in his joints and I know some imports do this but this one was excessive to me I don't know man they just had too much I mean I just had pieces falling off and all that I almost lost a hand and all that it's just way too much plastic and I know it's meant to what protect the joints or something or I don't know what it's I mean, just to hold it together, I guess. Not sure. Um, but it was just a bit excessive. It got a little annoying, just, you know, just ripping it off. And it's just, it was just a lot. Anyway, that was my first thing I ran into with this figure. But uh, right out of the package, uh, Rebel Tech always comes with these uh, accessory crates. So you can put your accessories in here, which is really cool. Like how they did, how, how they do that. And then we have a stand, a Rebel Tech stand. Uh, of course, the Iron Man uh, sign says Iron Man Mark 21, Iron Man 3, 2013. This is cool. If you want to do a Hall of Armor, I would like to put that in front of the armor. Really cool. Uh, he comes with two sets of hands. Oh, I'm sorry. Two, th three sets of hands. Uh, so you've got these ones, the open hands right here, open palm hands. And here's a closer look at that. And we got these blasting hands right here. Uh, blasting effect hands where you put the peg holes and of course the fisted hands on the figure. It's another look at the Iron Man Mark 21 sign. Uh, he also comes with these blast effects that go on those hands I showed you. And here's another version of it. So there's only one of each. So this one, there's this one, that one. There's not two of this and two of that. So that's how that came. So taking a closer look at the Mark 21 Iron Man armor here we have going. Uh, you can see how similar it looks to the Avengers Mark 7 suit. It's just repainted. Uh, it looks really nice. I like how they use the different uh, variations of gold on this guy. It's not just one, you know, one color of gold. You got some different variations of it, different tones. Um, you can see it in the face mask too. You can see the bottom lip is a different color than the face, and then the back of the head. We got some silver in there, some black in there. Looks really, really good, and normally the uh, the Rebel Tech joints always stick out because they don't look good uh, with the paint, but it doesn't look that bad with this one. Looks like it's kind of part of it, but there are always going to be those really weird balls, <laughs> ball joints that you always see. Uh, but there's the sculpt in the paint. It looks really nice. They did a really good job. I, I really dig it. Good job on this. Uh, only thing that's kind of weird is how the leg is. I don't know. It's just... I feel like the leg is too forward, and I try to push it back, and he stands weird sometimes. I don't know. Uh, he does come with a stand, though, so maybe that's why. All right, so moving on to the articulation of the figure, we go left and right, down and up a lot. Uh, he's got that neck joint that works really well as well. Uh, his arm just goes up, forward, and back. That's that rubber tech snap, and, of course, it comes off. So there it is. Uh, pulling it out goes like this, but you know, as you saw, it does come out. Even the shoulder uh, guard is on a, one of those Rebel Tech joints as well. Everything's on those joints. Uh, that click. There's your elbow articulation. Uh, we got the wrist articulation as well going right there with a, a hinge and a rotation. Um, we have, uh, it's not really articulated, but it's soft rubber on the um, hand guard. Um, so. You can get it into a blasting, you know, pose. Then we have this weird ab 
rubber piece that just caves in that's just just like a flap there i don't really like that but they did have that on the mark ii iron man on rebel tech so i don't know that's just their way of doing that i i don't know i don't really like it but he does have this diaphragm joint that is on another one of those uh, rebel tech joints and he does go left and right on that joint as well moved on to the leg does go forward and back but that's about how much it goes not that much back a little bit uh in and out just like that and there we go i think we have a thigh swivel as well we have uh those rubber tech jointed knees as you can see you can see the joint exposed a lot there then we have soft rubber on the um ankle guard as well on the back we have a articulated guard right there as you can see really nice uh so the feet are on those rubber tech joints as well those snapping joints clicking noise uh, forward and back does have a little bit of ankle pivot and it goes left and right as well so got some good movement there out of those rebel tech joints it's just uh the clicking is the only thing that's weird about it and the big ball joints everywhere but not too bad mine unfortunately did come with some paint scratches and scuffs you can see on his face and get the light to shine on it right there got a scratch in right there that sucks right out of the package that's how he came so little bit I guess of a quality control issue but not that big of a deal everything else looks pretty nice so I might just might have been my you know my luck uh, so not bad I'm not gonna complain about that so just taking a look at the arm guard piece and how they did this uh, this is how they did it got this little loop right there so when you move the hand uh, you have to put the loop there and then that's when you connect the the peg into you gotta put it through the loop into the hole on the hand so that's kind of awkward, but so I might have to take some time with it to get it in there. So getting him into that flight pose is possible. You can see right there, uh, pretty well done with his articulation. It makes it, you know, so he's looking, you know, up enough to where he's flying. So really nice. Um, so the only thing, he doesn't come with a stand or any like feet effects to make it look like he's flying. That's the only downside about that. He does come with these flaps. Do come up as so right there. So that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, there's no detailing in the back, but that's it. I mean, that's pretty cool. Not that bad. Anyways, the figure's really nice, and I, I do recommend that it's it's the only uh, Mark 21 Mark uh, in this scale that you can get at the moment because Figure Arts or Figma have not made one. Uh, so, Rebel Tech's the way to go for a Mark 21 uh, in this scale. So, go out and get them. Any Iron Man fan for your Hall of Armor, go out and get them because you're going to need it. Uh, great figure. Uh, overall, he just has a few, I guess, articulation problems. A lot of hindering on the leg. I can't really get the leg to go forward that much at all. Um, this, I mean, I just, I guess just from the armor, uh, that's it. And, you know, there's a few things, like, when I try to get him into a blasting pose, the hand was just weird. The effect would just point down. I, I, I really didn't show it on camera, but uh, that was a little frustrating, because how can you not get Iron Man in that pose, you know what I'm saying? So, that's the only thing. And why don't these open hands have peggles in them to blast, too? Why is it only the other hands? I don't know. It's just little things like that that make the, that should that could have made the figure a lot better. So, he's decent. It's not the best, but he's he's pretty good. Uh, and I like him as an Iron Man fan. Of course, I like it. It's not that bad at all. I'm not. I'm not disappointed in this purchase. I'm not at all. Uh, I'm glad I picked them up. So, anyways, guys, that's my review. Thanks for watching. It's been Ninety Four. Please like, comment, subscribe if you like. You guys have a great day. Bye.